Hello everyone, let's try to solve this question together. So we have a newborn infant who is placed on a ventilator. He weighs three kilo. The vent setting, uh, settings are given here and uh, the chest x-ray showed an expansion up to nine ribs. The blood gas obtained from a UAC showed a PO2 of 86. MM of HG, the blood pressure from a UAC uh, is obtained, which is 46 over 22. Echo is shown below. So the true statement is, pause the slide and take a look. What do you guys think is the right answer? Okay, so let's see. So the correct choice is C. Let's walk together why the others are not the right choice. So for example, the first one, the PA2 here is about 86. So we always have this notion that uh, the PA2 has to be kept above 100, but that has been uh, refuted and I will show you in the reference. So a range between 50 to 80 should be acceptable. So that's why this is wrong. What about B, the ventilator settings are lower it looks okay if you see tidal volume is 21 which is 7 per kilo so that should be okay as a starting point and the other thing that is reassuring is the expansion up to nine ribs so again b becomes uh, not the right choice here and milrinone should not be uh, used um, as a drug of choice here because you see the blood pressure here is almost uh, you know on the on the bottom verge so if you use milrinone milrinone can cause severe hypotension so that is not the right choice so now let me show you the references. Uh, so this is a very nice article. If you guys have time, just review that. And here is the here is the inference here that PO2 of 50 uh, to 80 should be okay in cases of PPHN. By the way, this was the case of PPHN. I hope you guys have made it out with the tricuspid regurgitation noted um, on the echo. Uh, so that's something to note. And uh, this is the link for the YouTube. Uh, you guys can access that to look for the QPS uh, ratio. I hope you guys have learned something together today. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.